Girl, I'm Paige. And I'm Jeremy with your morning announcements for Tuesday, April the 5th. Let's start the show with the message from Miss Adelino. Good morning, Cathedral. Happy Tuesday. I'm just here with some very important reminders about the OSSLT or the literacy test this week. If you are in grade 11 and are rewriting the literacy test, or if you are in grade 12 and taking the literacy test for the first time, your name will be posted outside of my room, that's room 206, or students, the student success workroom. Please make sure, grade 11s and 12s, that you have checked this list. I do not want to hear in any sort of coming days or weeks, I didn't know I had to write the test because it has been posted there. Our grade 11 students will be writing tomorrow during periods one and two in the cafeteria. Please report to the cafeteria for attendance. You do not need to go to your period one and two classes, grade 11s. Your names have been sent to Ms. Raftis in the attendance office and you will be excused for those two periods. The actual test will consist of two sessions, both designed to be about an hour long each. If you should require extra time, you are allowed extra time. So if that runs into the first session or if it runs into the second session, you will be allowed to have that. I know that there are uh, plenty of people who have come to me about some uh, issues over and over, a lot of anxiety about the test. I need everyone to understand that uh, test anxiety is completely normal, first of all. And the other thing is that this test is not going to be asking you anything that you don't do every single day in school. Quite often we as teachers give you something to read and we ask you to respond with questions, a few activities, etc. Think of the literacy test as the exact same thing, okay? We're going to ask you to read and respond. We're going to ask you to write some things based on what you've read. It's that simple. Keep it that simple in your head and it should help with some of the anxiety. If you have any questions or concerns, grade 11s, 12s, or even our 10s who are writing in a couple of weeks, please feel free to come and see me in room 206. I'm going to pass it over now to student council. I'm here with your two athletes of the week. The first athlete of the week is someone we have featured before, but his recent performance on the court warrants featuring him again, Kim Tameo from the senior boys basketball team. Kim is a fourth year guard who was able to help us win the city finals, national senior circuit, and the Ontario High School Basketball Championship. This past weekend, Kim scored 20 points in three of the five games and was given MVP honors. Great season, Kim, and keep up the good work. The second athlete of the week from the senior boys basketball team is Jordan Trulove. Jordan is a fifth year guard on the team who is one of the top offensive players in the city. Jordan is able to score on all three levels and is able to command a double team for, from most teams. He was an important part to the team's success this season. Well done Jordan. Good luck to our indoor s soccer team in their tournament today. That's it for me, now back to the desk. Thanks Kira. Grad committee members are reminded of the meeting tomorrow at dismissal in room 340. And speaking of meetings, there will be a meeting today right after school in room 343 for all those participating in the University of Waterloo chemistry contest. Thanks for Mrs. Oconotorelli. Attention members of Shakespeareans. Today's rehearsal involves training in the stage combat scene and is a full company call. It is especially important that the actors involved in the Romeo and Juliet fight scene attend the training. Please be prompt so that the trainer can get started as soon as possible. This is a reminder to all senior badminton players of the mandatory practice Thursday immediately after school. Junior tryouts will be today after school. Thanks from the coaches. And this is a message for the girls on the senior girls volleyball team that have not received, that have not returned their jerseys. Please return the jerseys to the physical education office. Thank you from the coaches. And lastly, the following classes are canceled today. Mr. Duzimona's period one and Mr. Caruso period one. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Happy 19th birthday goes out to Sebastian Bunda from all your friends. Have a great day, girls, and thanks for watching.